Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about Anderson Bridge. Anderson Bridge is also used to measure the unknown inductance like your Maxwell's Bridge and Hayes Bridge. But here, the Anderson Bridge measures the inductance ranging from micro Henry to micro Henry to several Henry's. Several Henry's. Okay, so Anderson bridge is used to measure the unknown inductance, but the unknown inductance which can be measured in the range of micro Henry's to several Henry's, like uh, uh, one Henry, two Henry, seven Henry, like that we can measure in the range of Henry's. Okay, this is the hand Anderson bridge. Till now we have seen so many bridges. All these bridges are in the four arm shape only we don't have any fifth arm but here if we see the anderson's bridge the complete shape is a new novel one where it is completely unlike your normal or conventional bridge okay <coughs> so the unknown inductance is con uh, unknown inductance is connected in the first arm where the first arm is consisting of a series unknown inductance in series with the series unknown resistance an unknown inductance is connected in series with the resistance R1. So the first arm is nothing but unknown component. This is the unknown reactive component connected in the first arm. The second arm, third arm and fourth arm, these three arms are purely resistive network. Purely resistive network like R2, R3 and R4. Now we have the one more arm which is one more node which is at E where the detector is connected between B and E. Okay, previously this capacitance and resistance R5, these two were not there. Directly E is shorted to D and so detector is connected between B and D. But now there is a one more point we have taken E where the capacitor is connected from E to C and the resistor R5 is connected which is a variable resistor basically. So that resistance we have taken between the node points E and D. So, if we see this diagram, we cannot uh, simplify or uh, we cannot calculate the formulas for R1, R1 and L1 because we don't, we cannot use directly the bridge balanced condition on this type of bridge because this bridge is not having any four arms. Suppose if we have four arms equally, then we can say Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3, but we don't have any provision in such a case here. Because the arm is having a, the, instead of four nodes, here we have fifth node E where the capacitor and resistors are connected to. So now we need to rearrange this bridge circuit in such a way that it should get four arms. Okay. So how to replace this network to uh, get the normal or conventional way? So if you say these three points D, C, E. If you take these three point D, C, E, if you observe this, it will be like a delta. It will be like in the shape of a delta. So if you convert this delta to star like this, we are taking one node at the center. Let it be O and these are the impedances we need to calculate in between like this okay then these impedances may change this network into the normal conventional bridge network so how to do that conversion we have to do that so first we need to convert the delta to star and then we have to apply the bridge balance condition okay that is only the additional uh, work we need to do here in the anderson bridge rest of everything is common like your normal conventional way so this can be converted into a star by taking this notation so center we are taking o so o to e this is the impedance here okay and o to d this is the impedance here which is z o d and o to c this is the impedance here z o c okay so detector is from e to b detector is in the same place between e and b okay Suppose if you after simplification, if you observe the circuit diagram, now R4 is in series with ZOD. Forget about the node here, D. Of course, even if the node is here, but we can see, we can say R4 and ZOD both are in series. Okay. So if 
uh, by saying this we can say the z r4 is in series with z o d and uh, z o c is in the fourth arm r2 is here and uh, l1 l r1 are in the first arm okay whereas the z o e you may have a doubt what about z o e z o e is the impedance that goes in series with the detector impedance detector is having some impedance so that is in come that comes in series with this z o e okay no need to use that z o e in our calculation <clears throat> so how to write z o e z o e how to write uh, the equation for z o e and z o d and z o c so z o e is nothing but which is an impedance here that comes because of the r5 and c r5 and c so multiply these two r5 into c how to take c 1 by j omega c divided by what are the resistors involved and capacitors involved that we need to add together in the denominator part when we are converting delta to star so r3 plus r5 plus 1 by j omega c this is zoe and what about zod zod is between d and o and it is the impedance between r5 and r3 so it is r3 r5 divided by denominator is common for all the impedances r3 plus r5 by 1 by j omega c and z o c is equal to z o c is the impedance between o and c points that means here this is z o c which is in between the capacitor c and r3 so r3 into 1 by j omega c divided by denominator is common r3 plus r5 plus 1 by j omega c okay so in this way we can write the equations for z o e z o d and z o c once this is clear what we can write z1 z1 nothing but the first impedance this one z1 z1 is equal to r1 plus j omega l1 and what about z2 z2 is equal to r2 and z3 so how can you say z3 z3 is nothing but take it as z3 in our normal conventional notation whichever uh, is the impedance that is present over here take it as z3 so but now z3 is not only r4 now it is having a series impedance this z od so we can write r4 plus z od and what about z4 z4 is nothing but z oc okay so hope you understand how we have taken this z1 z2 z3 z4 now once the bridge is balanced so when bridge is balanced what happen z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 so substitute what is z1 z1 is r1 plus j omega l1 r1 plus j omega l1 into what is z4 z4 is z oc what is z oc r3 1 by j omega c so r3 into 1 by j omega c divided by r3 plus r5 plus 1 by j omega c this is the z4 that is equal to z2 what is z2 r2 and what is z3 r4 plus z od od means r3 r5 into r2 r3 or what r4 r4 plus z od z od is nothing but what is z od r3 r5 r3 r5 by r3 plus r5 plus 1 by j omega c 
okay now on the right hand side take lcm and multiply r3 r4 plus r4 r5 plus r4 by j omega c plus r3 r5 and commonly we have in the denominator commonly we have r3 plus r5 plus 1 by j omega c okay so when you equate these two the, this denominator part and this denominator part gets cancelled so what we have now r1 plus j omega l1 into r3 by j omega c that is equal to r2 r3 r4 plus <coughs> R4, R5, this is R2 here, uh, plus R2, R4 divided by J omega C plus R3, R5. So multiply this inside R1, R3 by J omega C plus if you multiply this J omega L1 into this one, J omega, J omega gets cancelled and we have L1 r3 by c that is equal to this one the same equation we have r2 r3 r4 plus r2 r4 r5 plus r2 r4 by j omega c plus r3 r5 so equate real and imaginary parts so from real part we can say what is the real part here l1 l1 r3 by c is equal to except this term remaining all are real parts so r2 r3 r4 plus r2 r4 r5 plus r3 r5 so what we need we need l1 l1 is equal to r2 r2 into c c into r2 you can take r2 as common so r3 r3 cancel here r4 plus r2 we have taken common uh, r3 is cancel here r5 plus in this term r2 we have taken common r4 r5 by r3 so this is the unknown inductance value this is the formula for unknown inductance value okay now what about the imaginary part equate imaginary part imaginary part means this one plus this one imaginary part see j omega c j omega c gets cancelled r1 r3 is equal to r2 r4 so by equating by equating imaginary parts imaginary parts what happens r1 r3 is equal to r2 r4 r2 r4 what we need r1 so r1 is equal to r2 r4 by r3 this is 3 okay this is the formula for unknown resistor that is the pre for previous phase we have formula for the unknown inductance so if any problem asked on this Anderson bridge we can directly take these two formula and we can substitute we will get the answer unknown inductance and unknown resistance okay simply we have taken 
the basic standard formula z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 but priorly we have done as the bridge is having some delta network inside and it is unable to write z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 and so we can uh, redraw the circuit in the form of a, a star then we have simplified these equations so once if you are able to write and redraw the circuit in terms of star then everything will be appeared as a normal conventional diagram Okay, that is only the difference. So its the circuit looks bigger, but it is very easy. You have to remember this point. The Sanderson bridge measures the unknown inductance ranges from micro Henry's to several Henry's. So that means very least Henry to several Henry values. Okay, this is about your Anderson's bridge. Thank you.